Yeah, here we are. Headed back up to Germantown to visit with uh, Jason and Deneen. Gonna go hit a couple of them fields that I think we hit the last time. So, uh, this intro video worked the last time, so we're gonna hope it works this time. Hope to get back with you soon. All right, thanks for watching and commenting, all that fun stuff. All right, have a good one. Gotta believe it. Well, if I can get this camera steadied. Now I've got a little bladelet here. Flint Ridge. Pretty. Sort of purplish and it's got some red streaks in it. Jason's found a tip so far and uh, another little broken piece. And when I think we've been out here at Grand Total of about, oh, yeah, five or ten minutes tops. All right. Well, we'll get back with you if we find anything else. But of course, you know that we got to get a shot of Lucky Puppy here. Eating one of her snacks, Janine just took care of her. Now she's looking at me wanting one. Alright, hope to get back with you soon. Thanks for looking. Well, here I am back again. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I picked up a few things so far, mostly uh, just uh, chips, flakes, whatever. And you can see Jason and Janine way over yonder they're hunting that edge it overlooks uh overlooks this valley right here runs down to a big creek but uh i just sorry about the camera jumping all over but man i hate when i watch people's videos that do that <laughs> but anyhow about five foot away from what I'm getting ready to film. I guess I brought back this thing out some. I just got done picking up this piece of work slate. Kind of hard to tell right now, but broken right there on that end. Ground both sides right on down to the edge. Looks like a little, uh, Looks like a little ads or so, more than likely an ads. But I didn't walk five foot from that. Couldn't hardly miss this sucker. And I mean, this thing is some pretty ass flint. Not sure if that's uh, some type of kashok thing. It kind of looks like it. Um, it's actually blue. And gray, I know it's broke already, but nice little base. Man, that's some pretty material. But yeah, like a lot of other stuff we pick up, it's broke right in the middle. All right, well, if I find anything else or anything better, I'll get back with you. Thanks for looking. Well, here I am, back again already. Ain't been, uh, shoot, five minutes. And, uh, I didn't film some of this stuff, but I just got done picking up two scrapers. And walked up on this little point right here, and I believe it might be whole. And I see another flake off to my left. But right there she is, and I'll tell you what, there's not a flake out of that thing. Nice and thin. But, I'll get you on the cleanup. We'll talk to you in a bit. Thanks for looking. Bye now. Well, back again. And I'll tell you what. I sure hope this is what I'm thinking it is. Man, I tell you what, this is a real pretty piece of ridge. And it's right down here. Man, it's nice. I hope it's whole. 
I hope it's not broke on the one side. Oh yeah. Yep, it's all. Let me back this thing out so I can pick it up. It's not what I was hoping it was, but it uh it's pretty and it is whole. Got a daggone needle tip on it and it looks like at one time I don't think that's a fracture right there but it could be I have to get her cleaned up and find out for sure but if you get anything else I'll be back with you thanks for looking bye well we're getting ready to take off out here and I just wanted to get a picture of Janine's fluted piece she found. Man, that sucker is nice. It is nice. Well, I guess she's the winner for today because ain't nobody going to top this unless it was whole. All righty. All right, y'all. Thanks for looking. Well, I'm back with the cleanup. Got up there today, as everybody knows, with uh, Jason and Janine. They were kind enough to let me come up and hunt with them again. And um, we didn't do too bad today. Here, I uh, found a... Sorry about the slowness and the somewhat seam confusion. I'm that way all the time. No, I'm kidding. It's almost 12 o'clock at night. Eh, but what the heck. I've got a broken base here. Some neat looking material. And then i got another broken base. I'll go through these kind of quick. Just got a pretty piece of flint. <laughs> I just thought this stuff was nice. And I wind up giving it to Janine. She likes to collect these chips and that. She's real good at it too. Boy, I'll tell you what. She comes away with bags full every time we go. A little piece there. I thought that might have been a little crude point when I first found it. But I don't believe so. found a pot lid. I'm inclined to agree with Joe on these anymore because uh, I've seen a few the other day in another buddy of mine's collection, been collecting for a long time and he had some and that's what he said they were. And another thing I didn't film because I picked it up and wiped it off and everything before I realized like some kind of nut that it's actually a work piece. Jason and I were talking about this and we seem to think it might be a broken chisel. But who knows? But the first piece I found today, you know, shoot, we wasn't in the field in five minutes. My first out of two bladelets that I found up there. Well, I say the first because this one's the first complete one. But man, this is just translucent flint ridge. It's just sweet. Then, uh, next thing, I run across this little end scraper. A lot of cortex left on the rock. Unifaced. But, uh, I thought that was cool. I like all kind of different stuff. Don't care. Then I had one area in another little field over that way that I really like. And we got this broken base 
made out of two-tone Kashokton. It's like a, it's actually blue, and the lighter color is a real light grayish blue. But uh, Janine kind of fell in love with this, so I think the next time I get up that way, I'm going to go ahead and let her have this thing. Then I uh, walked up on a piece that uh, Michelle and Janine kind of call a little cutie. And this thing's so small, it, it just fits on the end of my finger. But it's in great shape. Nice little needle tip on it. Pretty good secondary edge flaking on it. But... This thing's hard for me to hold with my big old fat fingers. <clears throat> then the last thing I found, I'm sure everybody's seen this. This is a little flint ridge point. It's uh, kind of hard to tell, but it's dark pink and sort of like a grayish cream. But they're it's Flint Ridge also. I thought that was a broken imp or a impact fracture right there, but looks like they've done a little chipping or flaking on it. It probably happened during manufacture, so they just went ahead and finished her up and left the like at, but we don't find this material a whole lot down here by the house. And um, so I'm really happy to get any kind of it that I can get but that was our day um, I'm sure you've seen the broken fluted piece that Janine found that was the highlight of the day right there because man I tell you what I tried to swap her out for for that blue point but uh, she just wouldn't do it for some reason I don't know why boy she's not very very likable sometimes. I'm trying to make her a good deal and she just wouldn't take it. But then, uh, well, as you notice, well, she found that little triangle too with a, broken, with a broken tip on it. But like I was saying, as you notice, uh, I didn't mention a lot about Jason's finds. Sorry, Jason, I couldn't resist, brother. He found that some tips and butts and midsections and well we we just had to tease him a little bit today but then uh, right before I come to the house uh, another artifact hunter from their uh, chapter come over to the house over to Jason's place and he goes by uh, Trev MMA on YouTube you gotta check out some of his videos. He finds some pretty nice stuff. I tell you what, the guy's only been looking for six years, and I told him tonight he needs to go get him a job because he just finds too much stuff. The thing that kind of broke my heart, the guy works. That ain't no good at all. Somebody to be able to find that much stuff in six years. But uh, he's a super guy, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get out for a hunt with uh, him and Jason and Janine quite soon. So hopefully we'll be seeing you soon. Thanks for all your views and your comments and of course your subscriptions. Alright y'all take care. I hope to see you soon. Bye now.